Hi, this is Diane with Grocery Shop for Free, and today I wanted to tackle Walmart price matching with you. Some people have asked me recently, quite a few people have asked me, um, how do you price, price match at Walmart? So there's a couple of things that you need to know about price matching at Walmart. One is you don't have to have the ad. That's what's so special about price matching at Walmart. Um, is that they don't require you to have the ad. Now, how they're supposed to do it on their end as to whether they should have them for you or, or already know the prices in their head or whatever, that's not my concern. My concern is that you don't have to have the ad to price match. Now, I want to tell you off the bat, I've not had any problems at all price matching at my store, and I price match all the time, and I never have the ad, and I never even tell them what store that it's on sale at. So here's what I do. When I go in, to price match produce. I, I price match produce a lot and the reason I say at a local store I never tell them the name of the store is because I do a lot of produce um, price matching and there's little stores around here that are um, they have Spanish names and I can't pronounce them <laughs> and so I just say at a local store. So what I do is I go in and as they're scanning I will say those tomatoes are three for a dollar or three pounds for a dollar at a local store and they'll say okay and they'll change the price while they're scanning it it's important to remember to tell them while they're scanning your item what the price match is because otherwise if you wait till the end they have to go through your groceries find that item take it off change the price you don't want to have to do that it's just a hassle make sure that you tell them as they're scanning your item what the price match is and that you want to price match those now another thing about price matching at Walmart is they say in their new policy that they take competitor coupons, that's really not quite the way it is. Um, so let's take, for example, Walgreens has in their uh, sale papers every week, they have um, IVCs, instant value coupons, that are down at the bottom of the page. You'll see them running along. And in that Walgreens flyer, say they have a coupon for 50 cents off one Reese's Pieces. Walmart will not match that because it's a cents off coupon. They don't do that. But if that IVC, Instant Value Coupon in Walgreens paper says a dollar for two bags of Reese's Pieces, they'll take that. It's price matching. It's just, they've just changed the wording a little bit, but that's exactly, if you read the coupon policy, that's what they say, is that they will take a competitor coupon that is for a specific amount. They will not take a cents off competitor coupon. They won't take a buy one, get one, anything like that. It's got to say the price of the item. So again, it's price matching. That's all it is. Um, you don't have to have the ad, which is great. Um, you don't have to tell them what store, unless they ask. I mean, if they ask, I tell them what store, uh, but they don't ever ask. Um, you don't have to, um, you do, it, the item has to be in the sales flyer. It can't just be that you saw it on sale for less at the store than what Walmart had it. It has to be in that week's sale flyer for the store that you want to price match. And that's important too. So that's pretty much all it is and it's really easy. Just remember to tell them as they're scanning that you want to price match that item and make sure that you're not price matching for cents off because they won't do that and uh, make sure to just tell them as they're scanning that it's just it's on sale for this amount at a local store and that's pretty much all there is to Walmart price matching it's very easy and I've not had a bit of trouble since I started and hopefully y'all aren't having any problems and don't have any problems at your Walmart either again this is Diane with Grocery Shop for Free and I hope that helped thanks have a great day bye bye